Welcome to my guide on getting the most out of Lightroom. In this video, I will show you my shortcuts and tricks to edit and export images in the fastest way that I know. And since this is a video about being fast, let's quickly get into the video. But please make sure to stay to the end, especially if you have a slow computer, because I will show you a little trick that might help you enhance your computer at handling photos here in Lightroom. So let's get on with the video. So what I will do is I will show you the way that I edit my photos. But first off, I will show you this little trick on how to see the photos in different ways. If you click L, you will get into lights out mode, which will highlight the photo more for a better viewing option. You can also click L again and this will turn out the whole screen to black. There is also an option to press F for full screen mode or you can press tab to hide the bars on the side or you can press shift tab to hide all the bars for a better viewing option. If you need to navigate the photos then you can press G and you will go to the grid. If you press E you will see just one photo and if you press D you will go into develop mode where you can edit the photo. When you are in this view or in any of the other views you can hold control and click several photos and then press N and you will go into the survey mode where it will show you all the photos you have chosen uh, next to each other and this is a good way to see if uh, they look cohesive and perhaps will fit in a carousel or in a reel. So the first thing I do when I have taken a lot of photos is that I go through them one by one and every time I see a photo that I do not like then I press X and this will tell Lightroom to reject the photo. If I make a mistake or if I want to redo this then I can press P and then I will pick the photo instead. When I've gone through all the photos then I can press Ctrl plus Backspace and I can choose to delete all the photos from my computer and they are out of Lightroom forever. What I will do from here is usually I will apply a preset and at the moment I am really fond of this uh, newer version of my go-to preset which has this uh, Kodak retro look to it. So I will apply this to the photo and I will tweak settings if I have to and I usually also go on and put on the camera compensation and the transformation tool. So something useful here is if your exposure perhaps is a bit underexposed or exposed you can hit Ctrl U. This will do the auto exposure function and you can also use Ctrl Shift U and this will also adjust the white balance which can also be handy sometimes. And when I've done this what I will do is I will add a mask to highlight certain parts of the photos. And you can access the mask by pressing M. This will give you a linear mask and you can also do Shift M where you will get a radial mask and if you press apostrophe then it will invert the mask so you can create this sort of vignette that I like to do. If you need to add more areas inside the mask that will also be affected by the settings of the mask then you can hold ALT and press M. And then you can add another linear mask to the one you already did. An even faster way of doing this is to make the mask into a preset just like the color presets that you usually do. And this is really simple because you will just add the mask the way you want it. Then you can go to add preset and you make sure just to tick mask and you can call it whatever you like. And then you have made the mask and you can just click the mask to apply it every time you need it. If you're standing on a mask and you want to see what the mask covers, then you can press O for overlay. And if you want to see this in another color, then you can press shift and O and you can choose between red green, white and black. Also when doing mask you can press K to get out the brush and if you press A this will turn on the auto mask that will help you mask out the subject that you need. You can also hold Alt and then you will get the eraser instead. Of course we do not use the brush tool that much anymore because of the advanced AI masking functions in Lightroom but it's still good to know this. So having edited one photo what I will usually do is I will batch edit the rest of the photos and you can do this by standing on the photo you have just uh, done the edit on and then you can hold shift and you can go to the last photo that you want to uh, apply the edits to and then you can press sync 
and you can press OK and it will uh, edit all of the photos in, the, in this way. If you just want to take the edit of a photo and apply it to one photo, you can also go from the photo that you want to apply to another one, click the newer photo and then hit previous and it will apply the previous settings. But perhaps an even better way to do this is to copy the settings and then you can paste on the settings and you do this by standing on the photo where you want to copy the settings from. You press Control shift plus C and then you can apply this to any photo you like by pressing Control shift b on that photo, or you can select multiple photos and uh, apply the edit by, again, pressing Control shift v So what I will do after I have applied my edits to all of the photos is that I will go through each one to see uh, which I like. And here I will also like adjust the masks if I need to and do a crop if I need to. If you are cropping a horizontal photo, what you do is you Pick the aspect radio first and then you can press X and it will change it to horizontal. So it is uh, much easier for you to, uh, to do this. And then you press enter and you have applied the crop. So if you need to, you can press Y and then you can compare the edit to the original photo. Going back to picking out the photos that I like, I usually use star rating to tell myself if I want to use the photo or not. And you can use from one to five to apply one to five stars and zero will remove all the stars. And yeah, I will usually add stars to the photos and then I can use the filter option down here in Lightroom to only show me the photos with stars uh, on it. If you use the numbers from six to nine, then you can add colors to your photos. And this is also a filter function you can use. And I usually use this on photos that I need to do something else with. For instance, like removing a sign or a tree or something in Photoshop, then I will apply the red color, for instance, by pressing six. And yeah, then I know that I need to do something with this photo before I export it. Speaking of exporting, what I will do when I am going to export all these photos is that I will use the filter function. As I said, I will turn on the filter for all of the five stars, four stars or whatever. Then I will select them all and I will go to export. And here in export, you can, of course, adjust the settings as you like, but you can turn this into a preset. So when you export the next time, you can do this a lot faster. And yeah, these are my settings for Instagram and how I use them because yeah, you get really small files, but they still look great on Instagram, I think. And when you are done adjusting the settings, all you have to do is click the add button over here and then you can give the preset a name. And yeah, you have a preset that you can use uh, the next time. So as I mentioned, if you have a slow computer that might be struggling with your Lightroom, what you can do is you can go to preferences and then you can go to performance and make sure to click on this tab here about using smart previews as your previews. This can perhaps make the system work a little better. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the like and also subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot to me. There's nothing more to say than take care guys. I will see you around.